Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 26. I'm still going guys. Is there anyone still out there watching? <laughs> so today for me, like for, well, for us, Christmas is all over. It's, it's done and dusted and I wanna get the house new year ready now. So I just want to de-Christmas my house give it another good clean, ready to start the new year fresh. I know a lot of people like to have their Christmas decorations up well into January, but for me, I like to start the new year clean and fresh. So what I plan to do today is de-Christmas the kitchen area first, because we wanna set up Mike's new coffee machine in the breakfast area and there's a lot of Christmas stuff in the way at the moment. So we're gonna do that so we can get the coffee machine up and running on a regular basis. I'm just gonna move my way into this main living area and just get as much done as I can. So I've got a week, basically a week from now until the beginning of the new year. So I'm not gonna kill myself. What, what I do when I do this de-Christmas, I typically get rid of all the Christmas stuff, but I don't then decorate with my regular decor straight away. I'll just clear everything off, pack all the Christmas away, give it a good clean. And then once all the Christmas stuff is gone, I'll go into my decor cupboard and just start picking few pieces out to decorate all the areas that need redecorating again. So that process, I'm not gonna kill myself at. I'm just gonna take my time and yeah, just see what I come up with. Cause my whole decor cupboard at the moment is just chock-a-block. So yeah, it would be crazy to try and start redecorating with all that stuff while I've still got Christmas everywhere. So. Yeah, we're gonna de-Christmas first, give everything a good clean, and then decorate in the new year. I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful Christmas and enjoying the Christmas season with your friends and family. And yeah, if there are any of you out there still watching, let's get this day started. I'm just gonna have my coffee now, and then yeah, I'm gonna jump straight into the pantry area and getting all of that area clean and I'll take you guys along with me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get the wooden boxes that we typically use for our Christmas presents and fill them back up with all of our overflow products. I use these boxes throughout the year in our pantry because they're just too good to just be stored away and brought out once a year for Christmas. So I put them in my pantry and we just put any overflow products in them and store them at the bottom of the pantry like you can see here. So I'm just putting all of those back to start with. So the pantry didn't really need a lot. It just needed a bit of tidy up. Uh, I just wiped all the dust off the shelves, emptied some packets back into some containers, and that was basically it for the pantry. It was all done. I didn't have any Christmas in here. So yeah, it was just a matter of getting rid of stuff that we know we're not gonna eat after Christmas and filling up containers with packets and pantry is pretty much done. So moving on to the butler's pantry, we are just gonna strip all of the Christmas decor off, clean all the shelves down and get that coffee machine in its permanent spot so we can start using it every morning. Oh, I cannot wait to start having a decent coffee. I'm just not a pod machine coffee type of girl. I just don't like the pod machines. They just always taste muddy to me. I don't know what it is. So I'm pretty keen to get that cappuccino machine up and running. So here I'm just switching over my Christmas canisters to my regular canisters for the tea, coffee and sugar and just giving those Christmas ones a rinse out before putting them away for another year. 
So this corner cupboard here is where I typically keep all of my holiday plates and cups and kitchen items that are for each holiday I will store in here. So I am putting all my Christmas stuff back, getting all my Christmas plates and bowls and everything and putting them away. And while I'm storing or while I've got Christmas going on, I have stored all my regular decor in that cupboard as well. So I'm just kind of swapping it all over now. And now for the fun part, giving this coffee machine its permanent home. I ended up moving it again once I'd set it up here. It was too close to the wall part. So we ended up swapping the kettle and coffee machine over again once, um, once I was all done. But yeah, loving it, loving it. Love the way it looks. It matches perfectly. So moving on to the main kitchen area, I'm just getting all of the Christmas stuff off the shelves, putting all these potatoes away that were harvested and just doing a general tidy up in the kitchen. There wasn't a lot of Christmas stuff to remove here, so we're just gonna give it a good clean. And I will show you an after of all the areas at the end as well. So don't worry, we'll take you through the butler's pantry and the kitchen and everything later. But yeah, just to get everything back to normal, it looks a lot brighter and fresher without all the Christmas clutter. And yeah, I'm very keen to have the new year starting fresh. decor shelf my favorite little shelf to decorate we're getting rid of all of this stuff and I as I'm packing my Christmas decor away I also just go through it and see if there's any items that I'm no longer loving and if I want to declutter any of it and I'll typically put put this stuff away in a separate box so that I can get it out just before Christmas and either donate it sell it whatever I want to do with it Moving on to the little shelves in my office nook and I'm just putting all the Christmas stuff on the table and I'm going to try and pack it into boxes of where it belongs so all this office stuff I'm going to put it in its own separate box so that next year when I come to decorate again uh, I can just grab that box and just put it straight onto the shelves rather than you know mixing it all in together and trying to work out where I want everything because I was pretty happy with the setup that I did this year and I'll probably be going to be doing it very similar again next year especially this little vintage looking shelf I absolutely loved everything I had on that oh holy guys am I exhausted well I managed to get done a lot more than I thought but we still got a little ways to go. So I've got my whole kitchen done. I'll show you it anyway. <laughs> so I got my whole kitchen done and butler's pantry done. I'll take you in in a minute. I've cleared all this shelf. I've got all my boxes stacked there. I've still got to do the entryway. 
Still got to take down all of that. I cleared all the shelf up there and gave it a wipe down. Still got to tidy up all of that. I've cleared the dining table for now. And I've just based, I've cleared this corner shelf. So I've put away all, all the Christmas decor from that. So it's just basically the tree I'm going to take down tomorrow. Put all of the cushions and blankets away. We'll probably give them a, a wash first and then put them away. I think I'm going to store them in there instead of in a box in the um, garage. Because I mean that it's a huge box. It's got hardly anything in it. I might as well use it. So I'll store them in there. But yeah, look how nice and clean the kitchen's looking. I'm so super happy. So I've took all the little bows off these stools. I've just given the floors a quick vac, but with the dogs being in, it needs another vac and it needs mopping and all sorts. So, <laughs> so up there, hopefully you'll be able to see it. I've just got all my regular decor now, my little duck set that we got from my mother-in-law and just some thrifted items and makeover items I've got on that shelf. So my whole bench top is clear now. I really like the clean look. Uh, I've got my cutting boards and knife there. All the sinks clear. I've still got these sitting here, but hopefully they'll go. I'm, yeah, I just don't like them. I just want it clear, but uh, Michael said they need to stay inside a little bit longer. So yeah, we'll keep them in here for now. I've got all of my corner utensils and everything back to normal just i'm just so exhausted and it's already quite late like it's i think it's nearly seven o'clock so we're just going to make the bread uh what do we call that bread dip where you scoop out all the insides of the bread put a creamy cheese dip in it and then use the all the stuff that you've scooped out of the bread to dip in it i don't know what you call that cob loaf cob loaf i think that's what you call it so i'm just going to make that tonight and i'll show you guys make i'll show you guys me making that <laughs> i've just got all of these playing back to normal now i did decorate a little bit only because a lot of the stuff that was in the cupboard that I needed to put my Christmas stuff away because I stored all my regular decor in the corner cupboard so I needed to pull all that out as I was putting the Christmas stuff away so I did manage to put a couple of things up in here and I think this area is pretty much done as far as decorating goes I've still got to do that birdhouse I've got to give that a makeover um, so yeah I'm pretty happy with all the decor all the decor that is in here now i cannot speak i'm that tired so yeah this is just all the stuff i normally have we've got our brand new coffee machine set up and i really really love it i would prefer it on the other side but michael just said um yeah it needs to have more space on each side in order to put the um what do you call it the little uh where you put the coffee and then you put it in it it comes out on the side so yeah we needed to give it a bit more room so we switch switch that around and i think it sort of goes well with my kettle and toaster from kmart because they they've kind of got that retro vibe and i think the smeg uh coffee machine's got a bit of a retro vibe too so michael's super happy with it he's made a few coffees now and he's made a couple for me and i love it i just yeah i really really like it so this is all of our regular decor now. Just got a couple of um, hydro flasks and cups draining in there. But all my pantry is all sorted and clean. I've gotten rid of a lot of junk food that I just know we're not going to um, eat between now and the new year. We're all going to try and go a little bit healthier in the new year. So we're trying to eat up all the junk food <laughs> between now and then. So yeah, pantry's all looking good again. And like I was saying before, I just repurpose our Christmas boxes in the pantry throughout the year. And um, yeah, I just feel it's just silly just to store perfectly good storage boxes away and only bring them out once, once a year for Christmas. So I just repurpose them in here while, um, while Christmas is no longer on. So this is, yeah. This is the house getting back to normal and it feels so good. So tomorrow we're going to tackle 
We're going to get the tree down and put all the living area stuff away, give all that a good wipe down. I want to set my table back to normal um, and give my office a clean. And like I said, I'm not worried about getting all the decor out yet. I just want to clear Christmas away first completely and then I'll just start pulling out some decor slowly and yeah, I'll do that in the vlogs anyway. So let's make this cob loaf dip. All right, for this cob loaf, this is super easy. Now this is a pretty decent sized bread. So I've got two each of these. We've got a cream cheese spread and sour cream. I have a feeling I'm gonna need two, but we'll, we'll just mix one batch first and see how we go. So you want a whole packet, or packet, what is it called? A whole tub of sour cream. Okay, then you also want to add in, now you can use French onion soup or I like to use spring vegetable soup sometimes as well. I have made it with both and either or, they're both quite nice, it just adds a bit of flavour. So because I've doubled the recipe, we'll put two in, see how we go. This looks like a big batch now. so. We'll see. And you just mix all this together and then we're going to add it to the bread. Okay, now for the bread. You can use a round loaf or whatever. This was the only one they had. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> bread is bread. But what you want to do is you're going to cut the, the top off, but you want to maintain the structure of the bread. Okay, so that needs to come out. All right, and then you want to scoop all of this out. Okay, and then for all these pieces, we just, I'll leave them aside first because these are gonna toast real quick and we want to get the actual dip warmed up before the bread burns and toasts so leave that aside i'll get my oven going just put it on a medium oven like i don't know 160. And so what you want to do is fill the bread with this mixture Okay, so we're going to pop that in the oven now, just to heat all the dip through the bread. Once that's heated up, we're going to break all of these into sort of like, you know, dip sized pieces. Put it all around the bread and then toast it again and just until the bread gets, you know, a little bit crispy, not charred. And that's it, we're done. That's going to be dinner tonight because honestly I am so exhausted. I can't manage anything else <laughs> so um, we're gonna have this if anyone's still hungry later on we've got frozen pizzas and different things that they can have so this is it for tonight folks oh my god I'm such a friggin idiot I forgot to add this chopped frozen spinach so yes you're oh my god I am so exhausted guys I can't even talk so it's cream cheese, sour cream, a packet of spring onion soup mix or French onion soup mix, 
and a packet of frozen chopped spinach drained like so drain all the water out of it and mix that in as well my god I can't believe I forgot that like the most important ingredient <laughs> so yeah just mix it all in and then we'll try add it to the cob loaf again wow I just saw it sat in the sink when I put my cob loaf in the oven I thought oh my god I'm such an idiot I forgot the spinach I mean it, it would have turned out fine without it but you know then it wouldn't be cream cheese and spinach cob loaf would it it would just be cream cheese cob loaf wow so no big deal we've just scooped it all back out added the spinach and then we'll scoop it all back in again I'm making such a mess of this oh god guys I'm ready for bed I'm probably two of those margarita mixes didn't help this afternoon either <laughs> This is, please do it a lot neater than this, especially if you're taking it to a party. This looks a freaking mess. So let's try that again. Back in the oven till it warms up and then we'll break the bread into pieces, add that and warm it up again. All right guys, that is dinner for tonight. That is all I can manage. It'll fill everyone up. I guarantee no one will be going to bed hungry. And yeah, I'm done. <laughs> so oh my god you can see it in my eyes how tired i am i am really tired i think i'm gonna eat this probably stay up for another hour and then crash into bed but i'm happy with how much i got done i got way more done than i was expecting so tomorrow will be a little bit easier day main thing will be just to take the christmas tree down and just put all of that all the blankets and cushions in that chest i've got a little bit of stuff in my entryway um i've got my bedroom but i mean i can do that the next day there's not really any rush now because i got the main stuff done so super happy i hope this has motivated you guys if you are to, if you two really want to start fresh for the new year but are struggling to get motivated to just get in and get it all done but um yeah it's i'm not gonna say it's easy but it'll be worth it just starting the new year fresh so hope you're having a great is it boxing day today yeah hope you're having a lovely boxing day and i will see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching